Hey everyone, this is Tan. We're back with another Linux desktop customization video, and today I'm going to be customizing the Endeavor OS on Hyperland. And this is how it's gonna look like after I'm done customizing the desktop. All right. So the first thing that you'll need to do is type yay. To make sure that the yay packages are up to date. And after that, type this command sudo pacman s hyperland. So this will install the hyperland for you. Now this might take a few minutes. So the next command that you will type is sudo pacman dash capital S and then yy. And install kitty. So this is the terminal that we are going to use in Hyperland. And then I'm going to install Nemo File Explorer. And after that, I'm going to install NeoFetch. And after that, I'll install Cmatrix. So this is the project file that you'll need for this customization and you can get the project file down in the description of this video. So next I will install Wofi. So this is the launcher that Hyperland uses by default. Now just reboot your computer. Or simply just log out. Now here on the bottom left corner, select Hyperland and type your password. And now we're in Hyperland. Press control and Q to open multiple terminals. So here you can see that the project file that I have downloaded, you, again, you can find the link of the project file down in the description of this video. Now here, what I'm going to do is right click and click on show hidden files and go to .config and you will find that the hyperland.conf file. So in, inside the project file, here, I have provided a hyperland con file as well. So what you're going to do is just drag and drop both of these files inside that dot config slash hyperland folder. And this will automatically apply all the configuration for you. Now go inside dot config slash kitty and inside the project file again i have provided a kitty.conf file so just drag and drop it there now go inside the dot config folder again and uh, if i go to terminal and type new fetch and uh, here what i'm going to do i'm going to just drag and drop the new fetch config file the configuration file inside the dot config slash new fetch folder just drag and drop it again you can find all the all these configuration files inside the project file which you can download from the description of this video now if you open the terminal and type yay-s waybar so this will install the waybar and if i type waybar then you will see that this doesn't look that good. So what I'm going to do inside that project file, there is a folder called Waybar. So basically I'm going to just drag and drop it inside the dot config. Now if you go to dot config 
and then the hyperland folder then you and open up the hyperpaper.conf and then you select the path for the wallpaper that you want to apply for your desktop you can just copy and paste the path to the wallpaper inside the hyperpaper.conf Now if you go to terminal and type hyperpaper and you will see that and you will see that it has applied the wallpaper and you will find whatever it is written here if it's different for your computer then just replace it with that edp-1 so you can just replace it and you're good to go All right, guys, so this is for the font that is Webar is using. Just type this command. Now I'm going to install BTOP. and if i type beat up and you will see that it doesn't look that good doesn't go with the customization so i'm going to just drag and drop the beat up conf file that i have provided with the project file go to dot config slash beat up and then just drag and drop these two files inside that folder just click on merge and replace all right now if i go to terminal and type beat up and you will see that the, it has automatically adjusted all the theme that will look good with the customization So to resize a window, you can press the Windows key and V and while pressing down the Windows key, right click on your mouse and you can just resize the window. Alright guys, so I'm going to install fish now. And inside the project file, you find a color script dot text file. Just open it and just copy and paste these commands inside the terminal.
So right now I'm just customizing the terminal. Now I am installing OMF. Now I'm making the fish shell as the default shell. Just type your password and press enter and that is basically it. Now you have to reboot your computer to make sure that it is working properly. All right guys, so after the reboot, you'll see that the fish shell is working properly. Now what I'm going to do is I want to add a little bit of colors while I open the terminal every time I open the terminal. I wanted to show some uh, uh, color script. So just copy and paste these lines of commands. All right guys, now open a new terminal and you will see that it is working properly. All right guys, finally, if you go inside the hyperland folder, inside the .config and open the hyperland.conf file and if you scroll down at the bottom and you will find that all the key bindings for the, for the keyboard shortcuts so this is very important and you can actually change this to whatever key binding you want.